What's new in Sage BusinessWorks version 2023? Pervasive SQL Engine version 10.3 has been updated with the Actian Zen version 15. Sage BusinessWorks will require new Microsoft Visual C++ files to be installed on your computer. No other interaction will be required as the install package will uninstall the pervasive version 10.3 and install the new Actian Zen version 15. With more emphasis and awareness on security, a new feature in version 2023 is the enhanced user security and enhanced passwords adding additional layer of security and protection for your employees and your financial data. The enhanced user security allows your users to change their own password on the login screen. Only the user will be able to view their password. Passwords will be masked so no other user, including the manager, will be able to view. The enhanced passwords, if selected, will require every user to set a password and will have password complexity requirements. This new option has been added in the system preferences. Before looking at a quick demo, some important tips you should know before setting enhanced passwords. Make a system backup before turning on the enhanced passwords feature, because once you turn it on, you will not be able to turn it off. If you have Crystal Reports or Excel queries saved, you may be prompted to enter the password the first time you access your report or query. Any manager passwords you have saved using a connection string, such as in Crystal Reports or Excel queries, will need to be edited. To ensure communication or connection between other applications is not interrupted, if you use a third-party software that interfaces with your Sage BusinessWorks, you need to contact the vendor before you turn on enhanced passwords. If you import orders from a website or any e-commerce interface, you need to contact the vendor or your web designer before turning on enhanced passwords to ensure communication is not interrupted. Let's take a quick look at these new features. I'm going to launch the Sage BusinessWorks version 2023. The first thing you'll notice is that new look. Looks great. The next thing you'll notice is on the login screen. We now have a little eye that allows us to view our password. We also have a change password button that allows us to change our password right here on the login screen. I'm going to go ahead and log in. I'm going to click on the little button to show my password and I can see that currently my password is Sage. I'm going to change my password. So I'm going to click on the change password button. I'm going to type my current password and then I'm going to change it. I can view that Sage was my current password. I'm now changing it to manager confirming that it's manager. I'll say OK and I get a confirmation that my passwords were updated and that I need to go ahead and log in to update my password on all my company databases. Once my password's been changed, I now need to log in with my new password. I'm going to view, make sure I typed it incorrectly, and say OK. There are a few other features in this new user security settings, so I want to take these one at a time. We've logged in as manager, and now we're going to log in as Linda. And Linda's logging in, but she can't remember her password. So she's looking, she types Linda, it's invalid, so she thinks maybe, maybe she had Sage, that's invalid. So Linda can't remember what her password is, so she wants to change her password, but there's not a way to do that if she doesn't remember her old password. We're going to get invalid user ID or current password. At this point, Linda needs help resetting her password. The manager can now log in and reset her password. So as manager, we're going to go to utilities and we'll go to maintain users. And under maintain users, we'll notice that 
My password is mask. However, if I click on the show password, I can see it as manager. However, logged in as manager, if I go to Linda and I take a look at Linda's, the password is mask and there's not a button on here to allow me to view Linda's password. What I can do though is remove the password and save. Now I'm going to close out. Linda can now log into the program and select to change her password. Currently she has no password. She's now going to create her new password. Her new password is going to be Linda and Linda. We say OK. Her password's been updated. We're going to go ahead and log in now as Linda with the new password. We just looked at the basic overview of the enhanced security features where users are allowed to change their own passwords and passwords are masked. Now let's look at the new enhanced passwords feature. To turn on enhanced passwords, you'll select utilities and then system preferences. We now have the option to use enhanced passwords. Selecting this option will enforce complexity requirements when passwords are changed or created. When you select this, you'll get a warning that choosing to enable the enhanced security option will enforce password complexity requirements. New passwords must have one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, one number, and must be between three and eight characters long. Once this option is selected, you will not have the option to remove the complexity. Yes or no. I'm going to close out right now. Before I select to use the enhanced passwords, I'm going to go ahead and do my backup of the system files as we recommend. We're going to go to File and Backup. I'm going to select my system database and then select Next. Select the path or the location of where I would like to store my backup and then say Next and then start my backup. And the reason we're backing up our system files is because the system files contains our user passwords and security prior to turning on the enhanced passwords feature. So in case you decide you do want to remove that, you can restore your system files and that will remove the uh, enhanced password complexity requirements. I'm going to go ahead and say no to back up another database and now we'll go ahead and turn on complexity. So let's go into the system preferences. We'll select use enhanced passwords and we'll say yes. Now remember we need one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, and one number. So I'll say yes and we say OK. So at this point I now need to create a password that meets the complexity requirements. Right now Linda is the password and I'm going to say change my password. I'm going to enter my old password and now I'm going to use my new uh, password complexity uh, requirements. I, and I'm going to set my new password as Linda1. Linda1. So to meet the requirements, I've got one uppercase, I've got one lowercase, and I have one number. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK. My password's been updated. I'm now going to log in with my new password with Linda1. I'm going to look and say OK and my password has now been changed. Once you have turned on the enhanced passwords feature, each user will need to log in and create a new password that meets the complexity requirements. For installation instructions on upgrading or installing the Sage Business Works version 2023, visit us at sagekb.com. Search how to install Sage Business Works. For the product, select Sage Business Works and click the enter. It's going to come up with an article, which is a master article on how to install Sage Business Works. From here, you can select the article 
that meets your type of installation, whether you're upgrading on a standalone or on a terminal server or you're moving to a new computer. This concludes our short video on the new features and what's new in Sage BusinessWorks version 2023.